from places we go a kid's guide to community buildings by rachel chrisman genre informational text what is a community hooray for the community a community is a place where people live work and play it is made up of neighborhoods there you will find homes and people who lives in one of those neighborhoods you that makes you part of a community people in a community help each other and work together they share roads parks and buildings did you know three kinds of communities are urban suburban and rural urban areas are cities they have tall buildings and many people suburban areas are near cities people often live in houses and apartments rural areas have fewer people and more land farms and villages are often found there can you name some buildings in a community? They include markets, schools, libraries, and hospitals. Many people work at those places. They provide goods and services. Goods are things that people can buy or borrow, such as food and books. Services are things that people do for each other. Teaching and medical care are services. School. Where do many kids go to learn? School. Most kids start kindergarten around age five. That is the first year of elementary school. Teachers plan lessons for many subjects. They teach math, reading, science, and social studies. Kids usually stay in one classroom for most of the day. They may go to other teachers for art, music, library, and gym. Middle school often starts in grade six or seven. Then kids go to high school in ninth grade. High school lasts for four years. When students graduate, they get an award called a diploma. Middle and high school kids have many teachers. Each teaches a different subject. Students may start the day in a homeroom class. Ding! A bell often tells them when it is time to change classes. Schools are an important part of the community. They bring people together. Many students go to after-school activities. They join clubs and play sports. Some kids take part in plays, band, or chorus. People in the community can watch the sports games. They can also attend the plays and concerts. Library. The library is a popular place in communities. It is filled with thousands of books. A library's media center has movie, music, and sound recordings of books. People in the community can borrow the books and media for free. How can you do that? It's easy. Get a library card. It shows that you are a library member. Some people go to the library to read. Others go to do research. People also use computers there to go on the internet. They may read news from home or email friends and family. What if you need help at the library? No problem. You can ask a librarian to help you find books and other materials. The librarians also plans programs for the community. 
Some members take part in books clubs. They read the same books and get together to talk about them. Authors may come by to talk and sign the books they wrote. Libraries may also show movies and host parties. Have you ever been to children's section of a library? It is where you will find books written just for kids. The children's section often has story time. The librarian or other guests will read picture books aloud to visitors. Many libraries also have summer reading programs. Kids can sign up, read books, and win prizes. Grocery store. Where do most people get the food they need? They go to the local grocery store. Large grocery stores are called supermarkets. People find what they need by searching the aisles in a market. Signs often show what is found in each aisle. Many people work in the grocery store. Trucks bring food and other items to the store. Workers unload boxes and stock the shelves. Cashiers work at the register. They can scan items to tell people how much money they owe. Some workers put groceries in bags for shoppers. Hospital. When people get sick or hurt, they may have to go to a hospital. It is open all day and night. Most hospitals are busy places with many workers. Doctors and nurses give patients medical care to help them get well. If you go to a hospital, your parents will sign you in. You will get an ID bracelet with your name on it. First, you will see a nurse, then a doctor will give you a checkup. Do you need medical care right away? You can go to the hospital's emergency room. An ambulance may be called to take you there quickly. When the lights and sirens are on, cars must move out of the way. Emergency medical workers take care of you on the way to the hospital. A patient may need to stay overnight at the hospital. If that happens, the hospital is ready. Many rooms have beds for patients. They can watch TV and eat their meals in bed. If you have to stay overnight, you will not be alone. At most hospitals, our parents can stay with you. Friends and family can visit during the day. So many places. People have so many places to go for goods and services. That makes life in the community much easier. Lucky you, you get to attend school and go to the library. When you are older, you can get a job. With the money you earn, you can open a bank account. You can also use the money to buy things you need, such as food and gas.